Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, surprise, here's a puppy, here's another puppy. Uh, this is not Zoe and Turbo. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or pretty much anywhere, because this is all I've been posting for the past week, first of all, you should follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. These are the puppies that I am currently fostering. So I have three puppies like this, and I also have mom. So we're fostering a family and essentially getting them ready to be adopted. So we're watching all of them with mom because mom is still nursing the puppies. They were very young when we got them, only about four weeks old. So they still need their mom, mom still needs the babies, and we're gonna keep them together until they're ready to get adopted. This family came from Mexico, so Lovely O Rescue actually had somebody bring them over here. So I'll put up the post here maybe. And obviously mom needs a lot of food when she's nursing and she needs a lot of care, so we're here, we're here. So we're here for that. <laughs> By the way, she eats a lot. She is a little bit she eats a lot and she poops a lot. I decided that I want to start getting more involved in things that I'm really passionate about. One of those things being animals, dogs, dog rescue, adoption. Both of my dogs are adopted. I'm a strong believer in adopting dogs and not shopping for them. I just feel like there's so many dogs out there and maybe you don't know, so maybe this will shine a little bit of light on that situation. If you guys don't know, there are a lot of great dogs that need to be adopted. I've been vlogging for the past week. We've had them for a week now. It feels kind of like three weeks, but in the best way. Look at this little chub. Look at this. Are you kidding me? So we've been vlogging a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys what the past week has looked like. Today's the day, Zo. Are you excited? This is the setup that we have for them. We set up a, a tarp with a painter's tarp on top. And uh, John, do you want to give the house tour? This is the foyer. You can step in here. Foyer, various, you know, napping areas. This is the dining room here. And then, you know, designated bathroom, but they'll probably just go everywhere. You changing the layout? No, I didn't feel like it was inviting for our guests. Yeah. So we're just gonna switch up a little bit. Okay. I'm liking this shape a lot better than what you just had going on. I feel really good. I actually wanna go hang out in there now with all those yeah. blankets and stuff. Now it's like, okay. Yeah. This is the boy, he's loud, needy, and I think he's the fattest one. <laughs> okay, we're thinking there might be a little Sharpay in these dogs. Look at this. kind of here for it. But look what came in the mail today. I was like, is it upside down? So this is the wisdom panel canine DNA test. Dogs can't talk, but their DNA can. I am so curious about what these little puppies are. Specifically? This guy. Hi, buddy. When I look at his face, I don't know if it's just because he's so young and so squishy, but he looks like he's got Sharpay or maybe even like Bulldog or something in there. Oh, it's, just so cool. it's gonna take three weeks, but hopefully by the time they get adopted, I can let their new parents know what kind of dog they are. All right, so we're gonna do the DNA test on the boy. No preference whatsoever. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I did one of these on Zoe and one on Turbo, and Turbo's was German Shepherd Rottweiler Chow Chow Sharpe, which is pretty much dead on, so. I have to swab you for 15 seconds. Can you do that? Can you not wiggle for 15 seconds? <laughs> John, I can't do it. I can't. This girl right here we call crazy because she can be a little bit crazy. She's a little crazy when she's playing around with her brother and sister. And she is just like the feisty one out of the group. She is kind of the alpha female, puts everybody in their place. And um, she has quite a personality, but she does sleep a lot. She honestly cannot be bothered like a lot of the time. So she is gonna be an awesome pup. I know that. And I'm so excited for the DNA test to come back because I really have no idea what kind of dogs these are. I feel like these puppies seem kind of big for the mom. 
The mom is so, I mean, look at how little she is. She's tiny. This is Goose. Now, if you do follow me on Snapchat or Instagram stories, a lot of people think I favor Goose, but listen, Goose favors me. He picked me, okay? Goose is the boy out of the litter and he is, I don't even know how to describe him. He is the dope of the group. And if you guys have met Turbo, if you've seen Turbo, you know I like dopey dogs. <laughs> he is just a sweetheart. He's really chunky. Look at this. Are you kidding me? You see what I'm talking about? He's cuddly, he's dopey, and um, the two girls, they love spending time together, they love hanging out with each other, and he's kind of like the lone guy. He's like looking for somebody to hang out with, I feel like, you know? Where are you going, dude? But he is such a cool little guy, and I know whoever adopts him, if it's not me, <laughs> is gonna be very, very happy with him. He's so sweet and he's just, he's just a big lug. Look at him. And this little girl, <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. This one I call skunk, um, obviously because she has a little skunk stripe on her. So, and she has two white paws and I just, they're paws. This one also loves to sleep a, sleep a lot but she loves spending time with her sister. Her and her sister love cuddling together. They take naps together, they play together. I feel like she's the middle of the road one. The boy uh, is kind of like just the dope of the litter. She's like the middle one and then crazy is the lit one. You know what I mean? But she is such a sweetheart. She is gonna be such a little cuddle bug, aren't you? And she loves to sleep on her back too. <laughs> Look at this face. She has a very good like portrait vibe like she kind of stands tall she stands up straight she's always ready for a portrait i just i love all of them so much I, they're so cute what ah talons i gotta introduce you guys to the biggest sweetheart i have ever met ever this is mom hey mom hi mom hi mom come here <laughs> do you die you guys, when I first met her, I could not believe how small she was. I don't know why, but she is just like this, the most petite. It's like a large dog that got shrunken down to like a little 30 pound dog, right? Wherever she goes, I know she's gonna be like the best dog ever. Honestly, I would totally have kept her if her and Zoe got along, but Zoe was not vibing, mainly because she's very protective of her puppies. But she is such a sweetheart. She's really smart. She has extremely long legs, just like me. She has a very calm temperament and she's a really good mom. It's been really cool. I've never been around like a mom dog with like nursing puppies. This is, was like my first time ever being around it. And I couldn't believe how protective she was. She just wants to like lay in your lap and be happy and she smiles and she has the most intense eye gaze. And I am really gonna miss her. There's already, there's a lot of interest in her. I think we're meeting somebody next week that wants to adopt her. And uh, I'm really not about that. I'm kind of like trying to stall. <laughs> so that's how the last week or so has been with these guys. It's been such a great experience. It's brought me so much joy. I feel like every time I see them, it just makes me forget about all like stupid shit. You know, you just, it's like an instant stress reliever. We've had a lot more visitors too. Huh. A lot more people have come to the house just to have puppy time. If you guys are looking to get more involved in stuff like this, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can reach out to your local shelters or local rescues and see if there's anything that you can do, like volunteer work with them. There's actually this really cool story. There's this guy I found on Instagram through one of the rescues that I follow. And he goes, he's a photographer and he goes to local shelters and he retakes the dog's photos for them. A lot of times when dogs are in shelters, they have photos that are like, it's, you know, behind the kennel door or they look really sad, they look really mopey. And that can a lot of times prevent them from getting adopted. So what he does is he goes in and he retakes their photos, takes them out to the grass, plays with them. And then they have these new photos where they're smiling and they have grass behind them and they look really happy and it helps them get adopted. So I thought that was, a really cool story and not only that, but a really cool way to get involved and volunteer, but maybe in a different capacity. A lot of times what rescues do now, cause obviously they're taking donations at all times, but what they do now that I've noticed is they post special cases. So maybe they have a special case dog that needs a lot of medical attention or something like that. They'll post and they'll ask everybody to donate $5 if you can, which I think is a cool way to get everybody involved. Some of the rescues that I follow that I would recommend in the LA area, the first one being Lovely O Rescue, which is where I got these guys from. And then one of them is called Marley's Mutts. 
And they, I've noticed, take in a lot of special case dogs with more serious medical issues. And I think they're definitely in need of more donations and stuff like that because of the dogs that they take in. But if you guys have any rescues, if you live in different areas, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. So that I think it's good if we create like a conversation about it. So that way people in other areas can check different rescues out. Also what's amazing, a lot of rescues have Amazon pages now where you can go on if you wanna make a donation, you could do it this way instead, where you could help contribute to their supplies. So you could go to their Amazon page and it, you can buy different supplies that they need and it gets sent directly to the rescue, which I think is really cool. So that way when people foster, the rescue comes over, they bring all the necessities that they need, like dog bed, dog food, um, leashes, collars, stuff like that. So I think that's really cool if you wanna get involved. And another way that you can get directly involved is to foster or adopt. I definitely recommend adopting a dog or a cat or any other animal instead of um, shopping for one because there's so many dogs out there that just need a home. A lot of great dogs. This one right here is gonna need a home. <laughs> that one right there. If she keeps tapping on the door, she's gonna need a home too. Um, but there's so many great dogs out there. I just really recommend checking out local shelters, local rescues, so many great dogs and other animals that need a good home. Wrapping this up, it's only been a week, but would I do this again? Yes. Are you keeping one? Am I keeping one? I don't know yet. I really don't know. That's a very good question. Uh, I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure right now being asked that. I know a lot of you think that I'm gonna be a foster fail and keep all of them, but I physically cannot do that. I know everybody keeps telling me, how can you do that? It's gonna be so hard to let them go. It's not about me uh, and my feelings, it's about them and having good homes. So that's ultimately what this is all about. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's puppies. How could you not enjoy it? Stay on the lookout for maybe vlogs coming up for the next couple weeks, and I will see you guys in the next video. Do we have a new director? Uh, that, that's an action. <laughs> loving it, loving it. Give Shooting it to turbo? Me. Give, give it to me, turbo. Oh, you're walking around in your own pee. Come on, man. Just like their mama. She's got bacon soda. Oh, 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 oh. She's got bacon soda. Woo! She doesn't seem crazy right now. You have no idea. <laughs> You're not really selling yourself right now, Mom. What is goose? It's goose. Stuck and stuck and goose. Oh, it's stuck and goose. Goose! You're peeing right there while you're making direct eye contact with me, huh, skunk? It's like that. It's like that. <laughs>